Yo guys, it's Josh with Project Torture again. We got another blueprinting tutorial in the Unreal Engine 4. We're gonna learn about line tracing. That's right, line tracing. It's actually called ray casting in other programs, but in the Unreal Engine 4, it is called line tracing. And that means we're gonna draw a little invisible line that's gonna make things happen. We're gonna add logic to basically whatever it hits. So we're gonna learn something new. That's right, learn something new. We're gonna experiment, we're gonna grow, we're gonna suck it all in and blow it all back out. Let's get started. I got this pyramid, right? It's pretty sweet. Uh, I wanted it to be a certain color. I made a little material, just made it blue, and because blue's my favorite color. And I got a little boy and his favorite color is green and I was like you're dumb So I got this pyramid where it's just a model I need to interact with it So it needs to be a blueprint so a simple way of doing that is right click Go here to asset asset actions and go up to create blueprint using this and I'll put it in the folder that I'm playing with and I'll rename it just to add a um, Underscore BP to it and that way I know it's my blueprint oh, oh did I do something wrong there? Yes, I added a unfamiliar character. There we go. So I've got um, my blueprint here. I actually don't need to do anything to it, but compile and go back. It will close that window. And there we go. Pyramid BP. He's chilling. We're going to drag him into the world. Um, I can hold alt once again and just create like 10, 12 of them. I'm just playing like three and we'll make a few, however many you want. And once I'm finished, I'm just going to jump in. I've got five. That's fine. I'm F11 full screen, alt P to play. And there's our little uh, pyramids there, little Egyptian thingies. I'm like a giant walking around these things. And basically, you know, you can't really do anything with them. They're just there, and we can't really interact with them yet. And that's what we're going to do via the line trace. All right, so let's think about what we're going to do. we got to go into the first-person character's blueprint. This is us. This is our blueprint, what the character itself is doing. It's already got its movement lined up here for you. Let's right-click and get started. What do we want to do? I'm thinking, check us out. Bear with me. Left mouse button, draw a line right in front of us. Left mouse button. Like that? I like that. Let's do it. Left mouse button. There she is. I'm going to drag a line for, drag a wire or whatever from press and type in line trace. And you'll see line trace by channel right here. That's what we want. That's what we want right here. And we got a start point and an end point for the line we're drawing. Now, you're not going to be able to see it. But since we want to be able to see it for debugging and testing purposes, drop this down and pick for duration. Now we're going to see just a little red line of whatever, you know, however long we decide to make it. So let's make the starting point. Let's get the camera and get the camera's get world location. So it's going to be right on top of us, right exactly in the middle of the screen. Perfect. But where's it going? Right in front of us. Huh. Drag a wire and type in get forward vector. Get forward. Oh, uh, found it. And we need to multiply that by a vector times float to give it some length. So vector times float. And we'll, I'm thinking like uh, 250. That'd be pretty good, right? 250 units or meters or whatever they are. And let's just add these two together. So vector plus vector. There we go. And then we can plug this one into that and that one into that. And we'll plug that into our ending point. So what we're doing is drawing a line from the world location of the camera, which is us, to 250 units forward. Hmm. Let's check it out. Let's see if our line works. We're going to F11 again and Alt P. So now, if I press the, or if I click the left mouse button, it will draw a line. There it is. Huh? We got lines for days. I click all over the place if I want. Now, if you watch this, though, it's just clicking in the middle of nowhere. But if it hits one of these, you'll see it make a little mark. That means it hits something. That line is basically trying to see if it hits something. Even if I hit the floor, it doesn't matter. So basically, we can see what it hit and then make decisions based off of that. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. Let's go back. F11. Get back out of here. Go back into this blueprint and keep moving. This is what it hit. What did it hit? Well, we're going to make that decision. Well, we're at least going to look for that decision to be made. So let's let's uh, drag a wire from that and type in break hit result. So it's asking a bunch of questions. We're like, I don't know any of them, but we do know this one. What did it hit? Let's check and see if it hit that pyramid B BP we created. So let's cast to pyramid BP. You see what's happening there? We'll, we'll plug in the execution wire like so. There it is. Okay, so basically, check out what's happening. Left mouse button, draw a line, and if it hits this pyramid, if it hits the pyramid, BP, destroy actor. So, we got it set up pretty well. I think it's going to work. We could go ahead and get rid of the line, but for debugging purposes, I'm going to keep it, and I like the color red. It keeps my attention. So, we're going to go ahead and check this out and see if it works, and basically, if we walk around, we'll continuously, um, every time I click, I will make a line. If I touch the floor, you'll see it bumping into it, but nothing's really happening, but if I click this thing, oh, ho, ho, gone. It listens to me immediately. We can exit. 
and Alt P and try again. I mean, we can just do it. I mean, this is it. You just made an entire game. You can probably be rich and stuff on mobile devices. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys learned something. Just real quick tutorials about line tracing. It's simple stuff, but some people are kind of confused by it. I hope you kind of have a grasp on how simple it can be. It can obviously get a lot more complicated, and I will definitely show you a few more things coming up soon. Um, thank you guys for subscribing to the YouTube channel, and if you haven't, please do. And thank you all for watching. It's been a blast. I actually have a big, cool contest coming up soon. I'll throw all my subscribers in, and whoever wins is going to get a $25 Visa gift card, and I'm not even going to buy it. I'm going to make somebody else buy it and give it to you. So anyway, get with me. If you have any questions, thank you guys for watching again. I'll be back in a few days with another tutorial. Take care.